In this video, we're going to create a little practical example with the use of UI text view. And the way it's going to work is this. We'll have a two text field uh, where user can type their first name and last name. For example, I'll type my first name. Oh, I will need to use my keyword. Let me quickly connect my keyword so I can type faster. Sergey Kargapolov. And then we'll have a text view. Uh, on this view, will it will be set to preview mode. We cannot edit here, but we'll have an edit button that user will be able to uh, tap and it will pop up a new view with the uh, UI text view in edit mode. And here, a uh, user will be able to type their text. For example, uh, type um, my blog is www.swiftdeveloper blog.com and then uh, tap on done button uh, the uh, view will be dismissed and the user will be presented with UI text view but in a preview mode here again user will not be able to edit but just a preview and the user will be able to uh, click and interact with text and we'll have a save button which user will be able to tap and then we will print out the values that user provided, like first name, last name, and the text inside of text view. Um, and this is it. Very simple and but a practical example, which you can use in one of your mobile applications. Okay, uh, let's go. I will um, take it away. And then I have an empty project created, which is um, absolutely new. I have view controller, and I will start by embedding this view controller into a navigation controller by going to edit embed in navigation controller i'll quickly resize it to four inch so that i have more space on my screen bring this two closer together uh, okay and i will select navigation title item and then i'll provide it um, with the title your info something like this and at the right top corner, we will have a button, um, but that's going to be a um, bar item, bar button item. So I'll uh, click, drag, and drop it here. And uh, while this uh, item button is selected, I will change its title to something like, or actually I can choose a different um, system item for this button by selecting save from here. So that is going to be save button. Okay, and now let's build up our form. So we'll have uh, a text view. Um, so I'll type text and I have text view and text field here. So first I will drag and position text field. And I will uh, set while this text field is selected, I will uh, provide placeholder um, like um, first name. And then I will need one more text field. And this text field will have a placeholder last name. And we will need a text view. Here's our text view. And let's change background of this text view um, to something else so that it's better visible. So now background is white, I'll choose a different background, something like silk, like this. And because this text field will need to display and detect links, I want it to be not editable. I want it to be selectable, yes. And I want it to detect links, phone numbers, um, let's say events and addresses, everything. So that the user should be able to tap on a phone number, for example. Uh, okay, and um, we can let's get rid of this text. We don't need it so that it's clean. Or you can uh, provide a hint, some, for example, type here, which we will uh, delete anyways. Uh, okay, and we need one more button which a user will use to edit uh, information in this text field. So, for example, I will uh, give it a name, edit 
view. Okay, give it a little more space. But uh, of course, this is my layout. In uh, your mobile application, you will have a different layout, different positioning, different design. It's just an example. Uh, okay, so now uh, let's um, continue. Uh, we will need one more uh, user interface, and that will uh, be the one uh, that will open when user taps on edit view. So let's um, find view controller in our objects library. Click, drag, and drop it here. So we have one more view controller. While this view controller is selected, I will also embed it into navigation controller and resize it to four inch. Bring this to closer. And that's going to be um, edit mode, something like this. And we will need, again, a button, a bar button item. I'll, I'll click, drag, and drop it here. And this button will be uh, of um, system item done. OK. Um, let's bring this closer to each other. OK, so uh, let's um, work with our your information view controller first. So I will uh, select this view controller and then I will open it in Assistant Editor. And uh, first of all, I will create few outlets. So one outlet I'll create for first name. So I'll select the text field, hold Control button on my keyboard, click, drag, and drop it here. And that's going to be outlet and I'll call it first name text field connect and for the second field that's going to be last name text field and for the text view and that's going to be my text view um, and uh, for the uh, button save and this is going to be an action so from the connection a list, I will choose action and I'll give it a name, save button tapped and one action for edit bio button. And I'll drop it here, connection type action and I'll give it a name, edit bio button tapped. Okay, so user uh, when user clicks on edit bio, uh, edit view button tab function or will be called. And we will need to present user with uh, a new view controller, which is here. It's called edit mode. And before we can present it, we will need to create a custom class for this edit mode. So um, let's hide this, select this edit more view controller, and then open our left side panel here. And we will uh, create a new class, select project folder, new file, and that's going to be iOS source, the code touch class, next. And I will call it edit mode view controller, subclass of UI view controller, language Swift, everything is correct. Next, create. Okay, a view controller is created. I will go back to my main storyboard select edit mode uh, open up right side panel i'll choose identity inspector and under custom class here i will provide edit mode view controller i'll also copy the class mode uh, class uh, name and i'll paste it under identity storyboard id i'll paste it here because i'm going uh, to use it and i've just noticed that we do not have um text view for this view. Um, let's uh, quickly drag and drop it here. So that's going to be our text view that user is going to use to edit information. Let's, uh, while this text view is selected, let's go to ident I mean uh, attributes inspector. And then we will also delete this text. And that's going to be editable and it's okay for it to be selectable. Um, let it be important, it should be editable. 
and let's choose a different color for this text view as well so that's going to be silk a done button will dismiss view controller and uh, everything uh, is here okay so now let's select this uh, view controller and then uh, open it in assistant editor and for this view controller we will also need to create a couple of outlets so uh, I will select UI text view and I will give it a name uh, edit mode text view and one action for done button and that's going to be an action done button tapped uh, okay so a view controller is ready we have custom class for it and we can present it to user let's go back to our um, information view controller let's hide left side panel and uh, scroll down to edit view button tapped and here we will need to write our swift code well first of all um, to be able to present a new view controller which is on the main storyboard we will need to instantiate that view controller so i'll create a new variable and i'll call it edit oops edit mode of view equals i'll reference to storyboard and then i will instantiate view controller with identifier and for identifier i will need to provide the id storyboard id i provided here so i'll select edit mode view controller open that right side panel under identity inspector i have the storyboard id here so that is my storyboard id i need to use go back and here we have edit mode instantiate with identifier and i will paste that here okay and we will also use as edit mode view controller very good so edit mode view is created i will now need to wrap it into navigation controller so i will um, create a navigation controller so edit mode view navigation something like this equals ui navigation controller and that's going to be with the root view controller which is edit mode view like this so we have our view controller wrapped into navigation controller and now we can present this view controller to a user so i will use self present a view controller and um, i will provide uh, it's going to be edit mode view animated true and completion uh, nil we don't need anything for its completion okay so that should present our view controller to a user and before we i'm sorry it's um to when we present view controller we will need to provide a navigation controller here not the view controller but navigation controller uh, okay so uh, mistake is corrected now before we run this let's uh, do one more trick we will reset constraints for each view so while uh, let's select this view controller and then click on this uh, button in the top right corner and we will choose reset to suggested constraints and i'll do just the same here for the edit mode reset to suggested constraints okay so now let's save it and run our example to see how it works okay our application is up and running now and we have our form first name last name type here for the um, preview mode and then we have edit button and save button let's click on edit button and see how it works very good edit mode is presented and this is going to be an editable um, view and a done button which we did not activate so let's do that let's quickly activate the done button so i will hide this go to edit mode oops sorry i need to open it in assistant uh, editor and when done button is stopped we have a function uh, ib action that will be called and we will simply call self present i mean uh, dismiss view controller 
um, dismiss view controller animated true completion handler let's set it to new for now okay now let's quickly run it again and see how it works here we go so we will tap on edit view controller done and it is dismissed okay so we are ready to continue now when user taps on edit view and when user actually provides their um, view here we want whatever user typed to become available in our um, preview mode and for that we will need to establish connection between our preview mode view controller here and the view controller that opens and when when user tap on done button we want the value that user taps pass on to our um, uh, opener view controller so for that we need to establish connection so let's go to our edit mode view controller here and declare a new variable and uh, that variable is going to be called opener so i will say um, that's going to be var uh, opener and that's going to be of type of view controller why it's going to be type view controller because the view controller that opens edit mode has a custom class of view controller if that was a different class we would need to um, create a variable opener with the type of that class and let's make this um, a weak uh, reference okay so now we have opener so when user taps on done button the first thing that we will do Is we will reference the opener uh, opener and then we will reference my text view and set its text to the text view from the edit mode uh, edit mode text view text so whatever user types in edit mode text view will be set to the text view from the opener view controller and um, this is it but before we can run this example uh, let's uh, go back to our um, opener view controller the one that opens edit view and then scroll down to our edit uh, view button tapped here and uh, select edit mode view and then choose opener equals self so when um, edit mode is instantiated we will re uh, set the reference of self to the value of opener okay uh, now we should be able to uh, run this application and it should work okay so i'll click on edit bio i'll click here type something click on done and my view controller is dismissed and the value is set here so i will do that again done and it works but now notice when i edit when i tap on edit view edit view starts up empty but i want i want the value that user the value that is set in the preview here to be available in edit mode again so let's do that so inside of the edit mode i'll go to edit mode view controller i'll create one more um uh, one more property and that will be um, that will be preview mode text something like this it was going to be a string value and we will assign value to it when a user opens when user taps on edit view button so I will go back to my um, view controller and here I will do edit mode view and that that we have edit mode uh, what was that called preview mode text preview mode text equals to my text view text okay and now let's go to edit view and we will create a new function here it will be a view will appear so i'll overwrite 
um, view will appear super view will appear animated and uh, now I will reference edit mode text view and I'll set it text to preview mode text um, okay let's run this application and see how it works okay if I type on edit view I have my edit mode with a text type here so that worked type here was passed on to edit mode and I can click here and type something click on done and my value is passed back to my preview mode so that works well now notice that this uh, edit mode text view the text inside of it starts in the middle so let's correct that and to fix this we will need to go to our edit mode edit mode select view controller and um, we can actually do it in design uh, rather than um, writing swift code so um, we will select the view controller and then let's select the uh, attributes inspector scroll down to the view controller here and here under layout let's uncheck this adjust scroll views inset let's uncheck this uh, on the edit mode view controller so now let's run it again and see how it works now okay so let me click on edit view button and it starts from the top now so i can type something here click on done and it's here let's actually type something um uh, with the website address like i'll type a text my blog is www.swiftdeveloperblog.com i'll click on done and here we go my swiftdeveloperblog.com is a link which i which i can click and a user can interact and if they want they can open it in their browser okay so um that works let's do final um, um couple of lines and we will print out everything that user typed uh in a console so for that we will go back to our um initial view controller where user types uh, their information and we have a function created um, done button tapped I'm sorry uh, yes um, we have a function created there and it's called save button save button tapped here and when user tapped on save button we will print the uh, value that user typed in the um, first name so simply first name because this information you can then um, send to a server so let's uh, actually create a variable like let uh, user first name equals and then we will reference the first name text field text let user last name equals last name text field text and uh, we will collect value from the text view as well let user view equals my text view text and now we can print each of this variable like user first name and we will print user first name oops user first name print user last name last name and we'll print the bio user bio and whatever they typed user bio okay now let's run this and see if it works here we go so let me type uh, my first name and then my last name and then I will edit my bio something I have a blog 
www.swiftdeveloperblog.com and then type on done and tap on save button and we have our information printed in the console uh, last name and then uh, i mean first name last name and a bios here first name and last name as optional so uh, you, you can undrop it and then send this information to the server or store it in parse cloud or uh, do uh, with it whatever you want okay so this is it with our little practical example and i hope it will be helpful to you